Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Meg, and if you're new here, welcome. So this dresser, as you can see, I was trying to move it on the dollies, is huge and very, very heavy. I think I actually hurt my shoulder when I first lifted this a couple of weeks ago. In one cupboard, there is two shelves, which you saw, and I have to unscrew those because I think I have an idea that I want to sand those to raw wood. Two drawers and the Drexel brand stamp in the first drawer and then there's a wood divider at the top it is such a beautiful great solid wood piece that there are parts of veneer on it and there was nothing peeling or chipped which was really really good and so as I always do on every single piece as I take off the hardware first I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this hardware but I guess we'll see at the end Sometimes these plates are really difficult to take off and so I have to use a couple of screwdrivers just to pry them off gently because they have tiny little nails that are in them. And sometimes I forget to cover up those little tiny holes if I'm not using the plates again. But I remembered this time. So I took out the wood divider and then I wrapped the tape over the runners, over the little magnet strips, magnetic strips I should say, and on the doors as well. And those are the two drawers that I pulled out because I'm going to sand those down to raw wood. And I taped up the where the divider was on the metal rack, it's sort of like a metal rack, at the top as well. And I'm going to take out these two shelves and I'm going to sand those to raw wood as well. So as you can see here, they are screwed into those little sort of shelf holder things, I, don't, I guess pegs you could call them. So it's kind of difficult to get into the small little space, but I did it. And I used my magnetic screwdriver and was able to take out both of the shelves. So as you can see here, I'm just taking out the, the pegs and I'm going to put those aside. So after I had taken out the shelves and the pegs and then I also taped up everything that needed to be taped up, I then scuff sanded the entire piece and all of the edges and corners with some 220 grit sanding paper that I had wrapped around a sanding block. Here's what it looked like when I had sanded the entire piece. It's all ready to be cleaned. And then I sprayed my furniture prep and clean spray, which I absolutely love. And this time I put a mask on because I found that this, like the sanding dust when I was sanding, it the past couple of times it tends to get into my throat and I really don't like it. It just is very odd, feels odd. So anyway, I put my mask on for all of this, especially the cleaning part. Once I had cleaned the entire piece, I sprayed some water just to take off the excess spray. And then I got my little vacuum and then I vacuumed all of the dust in the corners and then all the dust inside the back of the drawers as well. I then took out the two large drawers. I took out the top one first and vacuumed all in the back of there because it was a little bit dusty. And then I vacuumed inside the drawers as well. Once all that was done, it was then time to sand these drawers and the previous finish came off quite easily. Even though I have sped this up a bit, it didn't take too long. And it was some beautiful wood underneath. And then I sanded the divider as well. I thought that would look really neat to be a wood as well. And I did both sides for this one as well.
and then it was time to sand the two shelves. Now I did sand top and bottom and I also sanded the edges as well on both shelves. Here is what they look like on just sitting on another dresser. I've done the drawers and the divider and the two shelves. So I set those aside and covered them up. And then I took my wood filler and just filled in those tiny little holes that the plates were on with the little nails. I was asked on Instagram for another piece that I did that the person could see the two holes on on the dresser and I she actually commented a few times I'm human and I forgot but before I sold it I did make sure I covered up those holes and then repainted over the top so while those were drying once they were dry I did sand them and then it was time to prime and I'm using kills restoration again I did about two coats of the primer making sure that I had sprayed every edge and corner. Once the two coats were on, I took my sanding block and then sanded the entire piece with 220 grit sanding paper to make sure each finish and coat was smooth. Once that was done, I then started to use the paint. And I did about two to three coats of the paint. I have a transfer from Redesign with Prima and if you know my videos, I do love to use some transfers and tissue paper sometimes. And so this is a brand new one that I was showing off on this piece and it was pretty easy to apply. Making sure that I had taken off the white film and then you place the plastic with the design on it where you want. It took a couple of tries just to get that transfer in place. And then I did all three panels. And here I'm just showing you what it looks like inside. So there's the two raw wood drawers and the divider, and then the two raw wood shelves goes inside. Here is this very beautiful sunflower, which is my favorite flower, and I really wanted to use this transfer. And so there's two sheets, but on each sheet there are some single sunflowers and single leaves that I can cut out and I thought maybe I could place them on the front. Now when I did this wardrobe and I shared it on my other social media platform I got a couple of comments with people thinking that I over designed it and I did at first as well to be honest but as I went along and added a few more things to this piece, it really came together and it turned out so beautiful. You'll see that at the very end. Once I had the transfers on the panels at the top, I felt like there needed to be something on the drawers. So I added the sunflower and the other transfer as well. And... I placed this transfer on the front first on the drawer and this one is called Harmonious Fan and then I added a sunflower on the top of it. And you just rub on the transfer and peel the plastic off as you go along.
here I'm just showing you where I placed that sunflower transfer which was on the side and this one took quite a, a bit to rub on because it was a large one piece and this is what it looks like once I was done so as I had that other design on the top drawer this is the bottom drawer and I added the same design on the bottom as well So this is the hardware. It is the original hardware and I'm spraying them with, I think this is the brass, I can't remember, I'll have to have a look, I keep forgetting about this na the name on this one. And oh I think it's bronze, rubbed bronze I think. Anyway it looks quite dark but it's not and it was perfect to match the designs on the dresser. Here is a quick look at what it looked like before. So here is what it looks like. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. The shelves look great, the raw wood drawers, the divider. It just really, really turned out beautiful. I added a script stencil on the end on the sides which I really feel tied into the whole piece and it just looks so beautiful. I love this piece so much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and please subscribe to my channel and all of the information for this piece is in my description. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next week.